If you haven't yet made the switch to clean, sustainable, customizable makeup, I want to make it really easy and economical for you to get started. The Aleph Starter Collection is the perfect solution for you to do a whole lot more with a whole lot less. Not only do each of these products work beautifully for a makeup effect in the moment, they contain nourishing ingredients to help restore the integrity of the skin over the long term as well as being able to work synergistically together so that we can create many more effects with these core products. This starter kit includes everything that you're going to need to create a really beautiful, flawless skin finish. You have serum primer to create a really velvety base for your concealer foundation. You have your choice of concealer foundation shade to allow for adjustable coverage, anything from a full coverage concealer to a light coverage foundation. Then you have Radiance Balm Moon, which is going to be the perfect glow for the cheekbones, for the eyes, and also I'm gonna show you a little trick to help counter any darkness under the eye area. Then we have your tools for application. Diffuser brush, which gives you the perfect skin finish with concealer foundation, and your mixing tool. And I'm gonna show you how to use all of these now. We're gonna prep the face with two drops of serum primer. This is an oil-based primer, but it is non-greasy, very light, and very velvety. Rub those between the palms, and then press into the face. And this is gonna give you a really nice silky velvety base to apply your concealer foundation and also super nourishing for the skin. Full of antioxidants and plant-based ingredients that will help improve the integrity of the skin over time. Then with our mixing tool, we're going to scrape out about a third of a pea size of concealer foundation. Pop it onto the back of my hand. Using our diffuser brush, this is the perfect surface to apply your concealer foundation. It will help to diffuse out all of the ingredients in the product so that you can apply minimal product for maximum effect and, and it's gonna create a really nice soft focus blur to the face and then a layerable coverage as well. And the trick is to go with a small amount at, at a time and buff it in to the face. So we're gonna use circular motions to buff in and build up to the desired coverage. The trick is to use less. Less is more. The less you use and the more you can build it up, the more it's gonna be feeding the face with nourishing ingredients to allow for a beautiful seamless coverage and something that's going to be long lasting and long wearing as well. The reason why our little pots are so small is that we have removed all of the water and we've condensed the ingredients so that it is super concentrated and you only need to use the smallest amount to get maximum effect. So I always tell people to keep that in mind, less is more. You don't wanna see the product swiping onto the face and trying to chase it around the face to rub in. You just want a small amount to be buffed into the skin to start making a beautiful difference. And then you can layer it from there and create the desired coverage. Once the skin's had a chance to absorb the beautiful nourishing ingredient. Then it's gonna create a really beautiful skin-like finish that you can't even feel. It's gonna feel exactly like your skin and not like you're wearing makeup at all. With the added bonus that our concealer foundation is packed full of ingredients that will really help the skin improve itself over the long term. So I've done half of my face and you can see how little I have used. So less is more, keep that in mind. And I'm going to now layer onto the top of any discoloration, so I've got a little bit of pigmentation there. I'm gonna use my fingertip to erase that. And I'm also going to use my finger to apply around the eye area to show you full coverage around the eye. And then on the other side of my face, I'm gonna do something different to show the versatility with the other products. Just remember in the corner of the eye, I like to go up under the brow bone as well. And then we're gonna put radiance on the lid. So I'm gonna avoid the eyelid with foundation, but I'm going to just pop it up under the brow bone. So you can see I've still got a lot left on the back of my hand. So less is more, a little bit goes a very long way. And I'm gonna show you another option on the other side of my face. If you wanted to create a tinted serum foundation, you can create this by adding a drop or two of serum primer to concealer foundation to create a liquid foundation. And this is going to keep nourishing your face. This is great for top ups during the day if you wanted to overlay what you've already got and touching up your foundation throughout the day. Or you just want a quick and easy with fingertips um, 
to apply your foundation. You can smooth it on the face and I'm going to go over and blend it with our diffuser brush just to get the perfect finish but it makes it a really quick and easy application. I love this because it feels really nourishing and dewy and uh, feels great on the skin. Super light. I've stayed away from the eye area with this mix because we want to apply a fuller coverage around the eye. I'm going to show you something a little different though, how you can get another effect with countering any darkness around the eye area with concealer foundation and Radiance Balm Moon. So I'm going to show you another way to conceal around the eyes or counter any darkness and that's going to be mixing a little bit of concealer foundation with Radiance Balm Moon. Now I like to do a 3 to 1 ratio, so 3 parts concealer foundation to 1 part Radiance Balm Moon and just mix the two together on the back of the hand. This creates a beautiful light diffusion within the concealer foundation so that it, that helps to counter any darkness. And fingertips are the best way to apply your concealer still around the eyes. I go, again, go into the corner of the eye and that's going to help reflect the light outwards so it's going to disguise any darkness. We can go under the eyebrow as well on the brow bone. And always remember to conceal those little dark spots at the outer edge of the eye too. That's going to help lift the eye up and draw the eye upwards. Look a lot more awake and open. Mixing Radiance Balm Moon with concealer foundation can be used all over the face as well. So the possibilities are infinite. This can create a little bit of brightness to the face, a bit of an ethereal glow to the face. It's a really pretty version of foundation. Next we're going to go straight up with Radiance Balm Moon. This is a really, really pretty champagne tone. It's got a glow. It doesn't have a sparkle. It's never going to be ashy or grey looking, but it's going to impart a beautiful glowiness to the skin. Whether your skin is super super pale right through to deep dark complexion. This suits everyone. We're going to pop it up on the top of the cheekbone as a highlight, patting it in place, blends beautifully on top of our concealer foundation. The warmth from your fingertip is really going to help activate the product. This has been designed a little bit different to your usual highlighter in that it activates with the skin temperature, not the air temperature. I wanted to avoid the stickiness of a conventional highlighter. So often, especially in cold weather, we need to warm it up with a fingertip. That means it's going to stay in place and not get sticky and tacky and have your hair stick to it or have your eyes stick together when you're blinking because we're going to go onto the lid and apply that to the eyelid. Doing this really helps to open the eyes up because it draws a little bit of light into the eye. You get a little ping of light when you blink and it also helps to emphasize the lashes when you have your mascara on, creating a much more awake looking eye. And then pop it on top. It's really nourishing as well so it's going to help nourish those eyelids and we'll go into the corner of the eye too just to create a little bit more awakeness to the eye. And that's a really good base for your makeup, creating a really beautiful complexion. From there you can go and add any cream color product and I have added my favorite cheek lip tint in Grounded to complete the look. So as you can see, these core products will help give you a beautiful foundation base, infinite possibilities when creating your look, and also a really good start to your clean beauty journey.